guys welcome back to my channel i am so super excited because today is my very first day of the collaboration amber and i of makeup is my art that's her channel name um the 31 days of wicked collaboration we're doing all october long if you have not yet seen it this uh, collab also involves a pretty awesome giveaway so please click down here and check that video out because you don't want to miss that part of this. Today's video is featuring the Concrete Minerals Sugar Skull Collection which is based off the celebration of the Day of the Dead De Los Muertos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I know it's not exactly Halloween um, it's a cultural thing and celebrate something completely different but um, it is celebrated right around the exact same time. It has a lot of the same imagery. So I thought this would be an awesome thing to uh, demo for you guys. And I really hope you guys love the look I came up with. And if you are interested in seeing how I got this look, just stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, so first things first, primer potion and serum as always. Concrete Minerals um, Primer on top of what I already used because it is super awesome for pigments to adhere to. Motion by itself just never cuts it when working with loose pigments, in my opinion, ever. Always have to use some sort of sticky base. So I have all these colors in front of me. This collection of six shadows, and they are all crazy colors. <laughs> and I thought there is no way I'm going to be able to um, combine them all in one eye look, but I managed to but just barely do that, um, and I'm super proud of myself. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I did, and hopefully you enjoy it. First shade I used is called Saint, and you can see it there. It's a really pretty blue. Um, it kind of looks purple, but it's really not. It's more of a blue. I'm going to use this defined crease brush from Makeup Geek and I'm going to put it in the outer portion of my eye and into my crease. Before getting back to the crease, I'm going to lay down my lid color. <clears throat> For that, I chose this red and this is one of my favorite reds. It's called Ultra Roses and it's so, so pretty. Um, it's definitely more intense when you use it, when you use it wet and I kind of used it um, both dry and wet <laughs> when I did it the first time around and I'm just I'm repeating everything the way I did it the first time so you'll see as we go here and I'm just taking that on a flat shade brush and putting it on my lid and I'm gonna go ahead and have to touch up that red later but that's all right I'm gonna ha go ahead and take this beautiful it's kind of I don't want to call it a turquoise or I don't know what it is. You make a determination there. It's like a sky blue, I guess. And it is called Los Angelitos. I'm gonna go ahead and go right over that blue that we placed earlier. So as you can see that red compared to over here is sort of faded. I'm gonna use some Mac Fix Plus and spray it once. And you can use water, you know. If your brush is too wet or you use too much, it'll go patchy and get a little crinkly looking and weird. Which is, you know, not cute, so you gotta be sort of careful. And I'm um, just gonna pat right back into that. The um, top of this brush, I'm just blending, gonna blend it into um, all the blue we got going on. For the inner part of my eye here. I did a couple of different things, and one was sort of an afterthought. He used this small crease brush because it's, it <laughs> because it is very small, and I'm gonna go into the shade Sweet Katrina or Sweet Katarina. I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna pat that in the uh, inner corner of my eye and blend it into everything else a little bit. Okay. So to kind of fade out this upper portion here, um, you can see where it's really harsh here and a lot more faded out there. I'm going to go back into Los Angelitos with this, um, you want a super fluffy 
brush and not a lot of product at all. Then I'm gonna go up and over this and just very, very lightly and softly blend over these edges. This Alarac 3D Liquid Luster, I don't use these too often because they're finicky and if you do it not right it doesn't it turns out terrible so you have to be really careful with these guys but i'm just gonna take a drop on the back of my hand like so these dry very fast and um a very small fine brush because i just want this i don't i don't want it everywhere um and i'm gonna tap it over the sweet katrina up for the upper lid area is um just a little bit of um powder just a um flesh tone matte shade is what this is and i don't you know want to totally wreck what i did here with my fading business so i'm gonna be a little bit careful with it we have used four colors out of this set and we have two left. I'm going to show them to you guys now because these are going on the lower lash line. And these are the colors. Surprised? <laughs> yeah, me too. This is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Deep End. Seems like an interesting choice, but you'll see. I'm going to take it from the inner corner all the way out and into my waterline as well. What I'm using is just, um, it's, it's this much I've used it for. It's like a pen's brush me. It is a Royal and Lanaga brush. The shade I'm using next is called Viva Los Muertos. And I'm just taking that and I'm tapping it all over everything. It's called Calavera and it is just, you know, it's kind of yellow. It comes off to me like a mustard kind of color, I suppose. I'm just taking this on this brush very lightly and not a ton of product, as you can see. And blending out um, what we did earlier with this. So we essentially just used it as a blending out shade and you can't see it too much, but that's fine. So that basically completes the eye look, other than um, liner and uh, mascara, which I'm going to do now. And I'm using um, Urban Decay's 24-7 waterproof pencil in perversion, as per usual. Mascara is on uh, a Too Faced, better than sex, as always. that is it for the finished eye look and I will be right back okay guys so this is the finished look I really hope you enjoyed this eye look in tutorial and everything um, and I'm super super excited uh, for the rest of the series and this whole thing is just it's gonna be awesome so don't forget to go check out Amber's video um, when that's up there will be a link right here to it don't forget to check me out on all my social media. That'll be linked below as well. Till next time, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be in two days. Bye.